Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SQL Server DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to find SQL Server port number using SQL Server Management Studio. Here we are going to learn how to read the port number from registry value using the T-SQL script. We have a uh, list of the scripts and we will go through the one by one. So first, first let me open uh, SQL Server Management Studio and just connect the SQL Server Management Studio. Here you just select the, your server name, my server name is Chirax-Lapi uh, and SQL Server, uh, MS SQL Server 2. So you can select from here also, go to the browse and more options, here, database engine, here you can select. I am selecting the my server. Click on OK. I'm going through the SQL Server authentication and there is a username SC server admin and I have entered the password and this is my SQL Server. So here all the databases are listed there, everything is there. So next, just I am going to find the server name, oh sorry, service name. Let me find the service name, go to the new query, and execute. My service name is MS SQL Server 2. Next, and let me go through the method 1. I have a 3 methods, there is a, uh, more than 3 methods are available to get the port number, but I am just going through the 3 methods. First, here I am going to declare the port number uh, where can 10 and key value where can 100. And if in uh, char index slash server server name comma 0 and this is the condition I have written, which, uh, if this, that is a 0. This is for checking purpose of SQL server each instance is installed or not if the service are not running service uh, sql server is not uh, installed there then i will get i won't get the output on that so here i'm checking the service name if there is a zero means service is not available there if more than any other value then service is available i'm going to begin from here set key value is equal to i am going through the one path so there is a software software microsoft microsoft sql server there is a service name and already we check the service name service name was ms sql server and there is a ms sql server there is a super socket net live and there is a TCP. Let me check with the, this part. This is available with the registry. As I told you, there is a we are getting the reading the value from the registry. So let me Windows plus R, then go to the R E G E D I T Reg Edit Registry Edit. So here, first thing, just. Uh, expand the h key local machine click on that go to the software edge whatever they have written same we are just going then microsoft let me let me search the microsoft yeah there is a microsoft expand microsoft sql server Yeah, Microsoft SQL Server. Expand that. Then there is a service name. Already we have checked service name is MS SQL Server two. Go to the MS SQL Server two. Expand that. There is just MS SQL Server. Expand this one. Go to the super socket. 
expand this one then there is a tcp if you click there you will get the port number this is the tcp port number 65455 next this is a if condition else condition if there is a default instance is running so we can directly read the data from there next is after reading the data we are just reading reading the value from the h key local machine and key value tcp port and we are going through the output let me run this one we will get the select tcp server name there is a server name and server port number everything will get click on that expand this one so six six five four five nine we got the port number and we got the service name also server name so this is the uh, method one we get we can get the port number go to the second method method two method two we can run this is a small script we can read in the data from the read uh, law error uh, log and there's a one zero listening port and this thing we are getting the descending order so click on next we will get the 65459 we got the port tcp ip port and next is the method third same thing near about we are doing but there is a uh, we are writing in the different way Run this six five four five nine. We got the port. So in this video, we are we have learned how to find the SQL Server port number using the uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and we have a three method to get the values. So thank you for watching. Hope this will help.